A couple of days ago at Samsung's Unpacked event, alongside the release of the Z Flip and the S20 lineup, Samsung unveiled its latest true wireless earbuds. And it's also the follow-up to last year's Galaxy Buds with the new Galaxy Buds Plus. So in this video, I'm gonna give you a quick first impressions of the Galaxy Buds Plus, and then I'll compare them up against Apple's AirPods. Before we get started, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell to get notifications whenever we share a video. So in terms of design, it looks as if literally nothing has changed from last year's model. And that's kind of true. Samsung did add an extra microphone to the Galaxy Buds Plus and the charging case has gone from a matte finish to a new glossy look. But fit, size, and comfort has pretty much stayed the same for me in terms of the actual headphones themselves. Samsung did focus on improving audio quality with both music and as I mentioned before, they added an extra microphone to help with phone call quality and they also improved battery life. Now I'm in the early testing stages, but the specs for battery life has gone up tremendously and both of those things really do seem to be improved compared to last year's model. If we compare to Apple's AirPods and AirPods Pro, the Galaxy Buds Plus are more in line with the Pro model as they go further into the ear and provide more of a seal around the ear for better sound quality. And the snug fit does a better job at just naturally blocking out some of the sounds around you. Now it is important to note that the Galaxy Buds Plus do not have active noise cancellation which is a huge reason these are roughly $100 cheaper than AirPods Pro and about $10 cheaper than the regular AirPods. The Galaxy Buds Plus do have touch controls on each earbud, allowing users to simply play pause, skip tracks, and activate voice assistance as well as control volume. If connected to an iPhone, those are the only three-ish commands that are available via the touch sensor. But if you are connected to an Android device, you can actually customize the long press function to auto launch Spotify, which is an awesome addition to the new Galaxy Buds Plus. Unfortunately, it just doesn't work when you have it connected to your iPhone, which is kind of a bummer. Now, as far as the rest of the app goes, whether you're on Android or iPhone, the functionality and features of the app largely remains the same. You can control ambient sound levels, which is supposed to increase the noise around you so that you can be more aware of your surroundings. But honestly, I have never noticed a difference when switching on ambient sound and even switching between low, medium, and high. It all feels and sounds the same to me. Maybe I'm just crazy, but I haven't noticed a difference. You can also adjust the sound profile a tiny bit within the app with a few preset options available to help increase bass or increase treble, make your audio more dynamic or soft, etc. Now it's not a true EQ control, but at least you have these options available. With AirPods, you cannot tweak sound profiles. One other difference between the iOS and Android app is the ability to have notifications read to you. Unfortunately, that feature only works on Android and not on iOS with the Galaxy Buds Plus. Samsung also mentioned that the Galaxy Buds Plus can be connected to multiple devices at the same time. So for example, you could watch a movie on a Samsung TV using your Galaxy Buds Plus, but also you can be connected to your phone at the same time in order to hear incoming notifications. But again, it's not a feature that works if you have these connected to an iPhone. Overall, I do think the sound quality is better compared to last year's Galaxy Buds, and I do think the sound quality on the Galaxy Buds Plus is better over standard AirPods, but the difference isn't super drastic as one might think. There is a noticeable difference in quality compared to the AirPods Pro, and the AirPods Pro do sound better in my opinion, but that comparison might not really be fair to Samsung and the Galaxy Buds Plus since these aren't really meant to compete with the AirPods Pro. Now, like I said, there is a difference compared to the standard AirPods. It's not super drastic, but it is noticeable. It's mostly, in my opinion, because of the better seal and the snug fit inside the ears. You get better, you know, clarity and bass kind of added with that snug fit. So if you're an Android user and you're considering getting AirPods to use with your Android device, I'd probably pick up the Galaxy Buds Plus instead. But if you use iOS regularly, I'd say you should probably still go for regular AirPods just because of the H1 chip functionality. But of course, I would love to know your thoughts on the new Galaxy Buds Plus in the comments section down below. This has been Dan with Mac Rumors. Thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you around in the next video.